browse catalog and add items to cart. So let's go back to iStore and complete this step. So I'm going to minimize this. Then we'll go to iStore. And here I'm going to go to the Home tab, which will list down all the catalog items from the site we selected from the sites page. And here, let's say we add the laptop to the cart. Fine. And as you could see, this is a complementary item that has come along with the laptop. So that is something which is defined as a part of promotion. You can do that as a part of your setups in conjunction with advanced pricing. And then I will hit continue shopping. And here let's look for something else. Look for peripherals if there are any. Okay, it was just loading. So I would say I want a wireless mouse. Fine. And now in terms of the actions, here you can see what actions are available. You can save the cart. You can share the cart with someone else as well. For instance, someone in your team. And if you are going for vacations and you've got say 20 carts saved for placing orders in the next few weeks, but you're going for say month of holidays, then you can share your carts with someone within your team so that he can act on your behalf and place the order. You don't have to redo the exercise of searching the items and adding those items in the cart. Similarly, you've got a couple of other options such as check availability, pricing agreement, if at all there were any pricing agreements signed between your company and Vision Enterprises that would be shown over here. So let's do that. And you can see that presently there are no agreements assigned, but if at all, there were any agreements that have been assigned you can choose it from here so let's say we choose this one and hit the select button and then we got to select both and hit the assign button see this one so that's been done look at that price list is 10 percent off web special which is based on the agreement which is previously signed. Then go back and then here at the bottom it will show you related products as well if at all you have made that setup as a part of your high store. Then in terms of the actions you also have actions such as delete this card and direct item entry wherein you can directly enter multiple items. Look at that. So if you know the inventory item number you can simply add it over here or you can upload it via an excel sheet and this is something i'm going to show you a little while later how to upload volume items via an excel sheet automatically and which reduces the data entry time considerably fine let's go back to the cart and then you've got something called as a request help function So while you are requesting a help, you've got to save your cart so that the person who is trying to help you would know what kind of request you're making in relation to which cart. So the person who is going to help you would know the reference of the cart name against which you're making the request. Fine, now I will cancel this. I'll go back and there is a function called as a share card. So this is something I'm going to show you a little while later again. And if at all you've made any changes to your quantities and if at all you have updated the details here, you can hit the recalculate button, which will recalculate the totals over here. 